For the final version of the basketball shooter, I decided to go with the two arms throwing back and forth to each other. And with that decision made, it was now time to finalize the engineering of the arm. Although I already had a working design, in the true engineering way, if it ain't broken, there's probably some way to improve on it. And in this case, I wanted to remove the springs that were helping the motor out. The reason is, when you turn this thing off, instead of jumping up into the upwards position, it will drop into the normal shooting position so it's always ready to go the next time you turn it back on. So with the springs removed, I tried to take a basketball shot and we got nothing. The motors don't have enough torque to just shoot the ball without any help. So I spent the week exploring many different design options while simultaneously trying to embed the entire mechanism into the base of the sculpture. And after like six different iterations, I couldn't get anything to work and I was feeling very defeated. But then it hit me. The easiest trick in the engineering playbook, if at first you don't succeed, use a bigger motor. And with that final piece of the puzzle, I was able to design this, which is a little bit shorter. The motor is attached to the lowest link and this way everything can fit inside the base and we can hit basketball shots over and over and over again.